Okay, we were to an interesting integral. This one's from the UK integration B, problem number five. We have the integral from one to two, natural log x over x squared minus two x plus two dx. Okay, at first it was really hard for me to imagine like exactly how natural log x is gonna work with this. Like we know the derivative of natural log x is one over x, but that's kind of a long way from what we have here. Well, just kind of trying to get started with it, what I can do here is complete the square and we can take half of this coefficient here and write this as x minus one squared. If you multiply this out, this thing isn't a perfect square. So we're gonna get x squared minus two x. The last term is a plus one, but we have a plus two there. So in order to make this all work, I just need to create another one. Plus one plus one is this two right here. So now let's just rewrite it in this form here. So what's gonna happen, same numerator, this becomes x minus one squared plus one. And then from here, what you could do is you actually could do a u substitution right here just to clean this up and get it like u squared plus one in the denominator, which is kind of nice, but it's still not really an answer. It's still kind of like not clear what happens between how do we work with natural log x and x squared plus one. Well, I think what I can do to save a step is just do a trig substitution instead to kind of consolidate it. So what I'm gonna do for that is for x squared, sorry, just for x minus one, let's set that equal to tan of t. I can take a derivative here, so dx is gonna be just secant squared t dt. Now I'd like to get a couple other values too, like first we're gonna want a value for t, so like um, just applying arctan on both sides to isolate t, we're gonna have t equals arctan x minus one. And then also let's just isolate x, if we add plus one on set, if we just add a one on both sides, we have x equal to tan t plus one. So then let's come over here and go ahead with this. First, updating our bounds, take a two and plug it into this one right here. Two minus one is one. Arctan at one is just gonna be pi over four here. Then plug in one, arctan at zero, that's just zero. Natural log of x using this one here, this is gonna become natural log of tan plus one. Okay, that's a little messy, but we can deal with it. I think this here, x squared minus one we said equal to tan t so this becomes tan squared t now that's really nice because of the identity tan squared plus t this is the same thing as secant squared of t and then finally our dx value that's just going to be this secant squared t dt but then we get cancellation because we've got secant squared in the numerator and denominator this is the same thing here and so all we really need to do is just integrate this thing right here and let's see if we can do that on the next board Okay, now going ahead with this integral here, I know I can do this because I've actually done this in a previous video, so I have the feeling it's gonna work, but what I did here is I've created a label on both these, so the original integral is i, and this is still equal to i, and what I'm gonna wanna do on this is use King's principle, so let's just take a look at that really quick. What it's gonna allow us to do is when we have the bounds from a to b of some function, this allows us to keep the bounds and then just input the sum of the two bounds. So it's gonna be like f of b plus a minus x dx. So using this formula, what we have here, we're gonna need this value, just adding the bounds together to rewrite this. So bound staying the same, zero to pi over four, but then this f of b plus a minus x value, this is just gonna be, because we have a zero here, this is gonna become f of pi over four minus t. So when we input that here, inputting into the tangent, this is gonna become natural log tan pi over four minus t. Then we still have this plus one here. But now for this right here, what we can do is use the different angle formula for tangent. I find this one can be a little hard to remember because I always forget what the signs should be. So it's actually tan a minus tan b over one plus tan a times tan b. Now to use this here, our a value is just pi over four, our b value is this t. And so then for the tan of a value, tan of pi over four, that's just equal to one. So that's gonna help us clean this up. So when we use this formula to rewrite this for tan pi over four minus t, then with all of our tan a's being one, we end up with one minus tan of b, which is just gonna be tan of t. And then the denominator is just gonna become one plus tan of t. But then what I wanna do next is just remember we have this plus one here. It's kind of awkward like still having stuff added inside the natural log. So what I wanna do is add that to this. And what we can do for that is create a common denominator. So like for the one, I can write one as one plus tan t over one plus tan t. And then just add this, right? 
and see if we can clean it up a little bit. So we still have the same denominator here, and this is gonna be with one minus tan t. Ugh. But then adding these together with the common denominator, what's gonna happen is the tan t's are just gonna cancel up as we get a plus and a minus. One plus one, we have two in the numerator. So let's take this right here that we found and plug it back inside the natural log in order to finish this off. So now that we have this rewritten, we've got you know division inside the natural log. What I can do is use log properties on this to split this up and subtract it, create two integrals. So when we do that, the first one's just gonna be natural log of two from the numerator. And then for the second one, we have a minus sign and we're just gonna have this part. So this is gonna be just natural log I'm gonna change the order and write it as tan t plus one. But the thing to notice here is what we have right here, this is the same thing as our i value. This version of the i value right here, this is identical. So we can call this one i. So then in order to clean this up, if we've got minus i here, if I just add an i, that's gonna cancel here. Add an i on the left side, this becomes two i. But then to isolate our i, our goal, which is what we want to find, let's just divide by two on both sides, multiply by one half here, and get rid of this thing because this is all gone. And so then to get our solution, we just have an easy integral because this here is just a constant value that we can bring out front of the integral. So when we do that, we're going to have just natural log of two over two in front. Integral here this becomes just one, basically. We integrate this, we get t evaluated from zero to pi over four. Evaluating at zero is just gonna be nothing. Plug in pi over four, we have natural log two over two times pi over four. And so for my final solution is we just have pi natural log two over eight, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Really good one from the UK integration B. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.